Hi guys, I go by Michonne here. I am gonna be talking about my portfolio that got me into the College for Creative Studies for concept design. So I'm gonna show you what I did and it worked for me and now I'm going to my junior year. But what this portfolio is about is my mom grew up in St. Petersburg, they're Russian, and so every summer we went to Ukraine because my grandma's from Ukraine. There she had like a big crush on the local milk man after the Chernobyl disaster happened in 1986. She was never allowed back. She was so sad that she couldn't see her milk. I made the story like nuclear family based off the of smoke. And my inspo for the milkman, and I had a clear line between that and my sketch, but I just kind of showed the exaggerated shapes and I had a little imaginary friend to show like a different type of character design inspired by the ornaments that you hang on trees. Then I had the same for the little baldy creature, the little silhouettes. Not great line weight or anything here. I was kind of going straight. I was redrawing these things too. I was not happy with them. The Bulby 3D model and I had the little guys. You also don't need 3D in your portfolio. Again, it's a plus, like it shows that you're trying new things, I think, but I know a lot of people didn't have their um, 3D models in their portfolio. I had the radioactive milk lantern too, which was like a prop design with the thought process that I explained there is like the, the radioactive milk, because since he's a milk man, he has this radioactive milk after and uses it as a lantern, so I made a little like wire drawing with that. Different silhouettes, whatever. And I had a 3D model of it. And then I had the milk truck for my vehicle design. I think this was actually my last piece. It was, but I had seen how much I improved with visual art from like the beginning to the end because I was popping these ones out much faster. Perspective here, definitely not correct on these wheels, but you know, I was trying. <laughs> Descriptions on my design decisions of like, the cracked glass and the vines and everything so having a bit of different color schemes too then i had my crib so for like architecture design i was really into like the iconography like studying art history seeing all the, like, the christian symbols and stuff so i wanted to include and subvert some of that so i had my first design of the church like his house cabin in the middle of nowhere uh, with some of my some like radioactive like gear or whatever um most <laughs> coming to the house and this was like i think my first first painter for this portfolio so and then i made a different design like a different style of architecture a little bit a little more flat 2d because i chose them you can show different variations of one object like this could be two different ideas then i had the interior of the crib which I wanted to do a lot of like the tapestries, like in Soviet era, um, in Soviet Union, like you have the tapestries on the walls to insulate the homes and the cross kind of fallen off and some of the cow print on the wall as a like, decoration and kind of compiling all that stuff. And I have labels for each thing that I thought through. I'm like, I know what I drew. And then I made the deformed forest, which was like, my more environment, like natural thing. So have a little bit of everything. And I had a really clear like idea, like I wanted these neon colors. Made some thumbnails, really having that like foreground, middle ground background. So they can see like clear, clear thumbnails. The whole thing is about visual communication. How can you communicate your idea to who's looking at your portfolio? I had my little designs, how radiation affects like spiders, even if you do the research, like it's crazy. So I wanted to have some spider webs and some of like kind of more bulging shapes and kind of deformed sunflowers that are in that area. I had a 3D model that I made and then I had the final illustration. Yeah, this was my final kind of ending piece because I thought it was colorful and fun and that was the end. Work on that portfolio. And then if you're in CCS and you want to transfer in, you can do that, but it's harder depending on what time you transfer in. Also know that a lot of our classes are online because a lot of the teachers are teachers from, from Art Center and live in LA and are working in LA. So I have six hour studios online entirely. I would say presentation is very important. Make sure you have a short story describing your entire narrative. Don't make it too long and make sure you kind of present it in a way that's professional, clean, easy to read, not too long. Make sure you have your name in the corner of every page. 
I just had it in the front, but it's good to have it on every page. You want to have your inspo, your process, and your final for each piece. Present these. Like, look at ArtStation for all of the, like, super impressive PDF. I think order of your portfolio can be a thing debated. I don't know. I think I just do whatever makes most sense. Sketch out every single page of your portfolio, what you're going to need for each one, and then start on it because if you just focus on one, you're going to get so zoned in and you're not going to be able to move on to the other ones. Also have little like call outs describing your design decision so they see that you like thought through every single step of the process.